Hey gang, uh, going to use lots of colours today because, hello, um, Storm Dennis or whatever the hell his name is is here and we need to get our rainbow on. So I'm using bubblegum, peach martini, lemonade, mint tea and grape jelly from Gel Perfection. Don't know what the thumbs up is in aid of. <laughs> um, just going to put a blob of everything on my palette and then starting with lemonade. I, was, I started in the middle. I, there was a reason, can't remember why. I think it may have been to get the sort of curve that I wanted and well, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, so that was lemonade and this is mint tea. I am flash curing, um, I think for like 30 seconds, so half curing, um, just so I can put them next to each other without them um, bleeding. That was grape jelly and now peach martini. I then realized after I'd done the um, bubble gum, the pink next, that I needed another color. So I used Turtle Beach, which is a pastel green. Um, it's a lot more pastel than it looks. Am I gonna get to it? There we are. Um, it's a lot more pastel than it looks here. Um, and I also did another one, that's the other side. I should have looked at the other one while I was doing the other one so that they weren't completely odd and uneven, but never mind. Um, this is Bluebird. That's had a cure and I'm just using Alaska here um, with the brush from the bottle to create the kind of shape of the unicorn head um, and adding some ears so she can hear stuff and that will have a second coat so I cured that and then did it again with the second coat um, and then we've got platinum which is for the horn, it's such a good silver, it's really opaque, it's metallic, it's a bit sparkly, it's just it's awesome. That's going to be the base because we're then going to add glitter to it. Um, this is Blackout, I'm drawing obviously the hair, but there's a name for that bit of hair. I did this set on a client um, and she was a horsey, she wasn't a horsey, she was human, <laughs> she was a, she was an equestrian um, and that bit of hair does have a name. I. I won't remember what it is, so there's no point in me trying to think about it. Um, just doing some little ear flaps. Ear flaps? Just, yeah, flappy bits. Um, and that too will have a cure. I'm now going in with the colours I used. I should have started at the other end of the fringe. Um, I think I've got a picture here. That's the client. See, I started at the other end of the fringe and sweeped, swoped, swiped. Um, the colour all the way to the point. Um, it looked much better, but you know, I didn't look at the picture while I was doing this, so um, maybe I should have. Uh, and then it would have been easier for me to also do this in bigger sections of fewer colours, because now I kind of have to line in between them all, and it's looked a bit messy, but you know. Uh, this is Silver Hollow, it's 004 so it's really fine and I'm just adding some of that to some base coat, the first base and then mixing it up and I'm going to go over the horn here because it's a unicorn so she has to be sparkly and magical um, and nothing does that better than glitter. Whee! Sparkly! And then just outlining, I was going for a kind of spiral horn. It didn't go too well. It kind of just looks like a silver poop. But context hopefully draws you to think that it's a horn and not a sparkly shite on her head. Um, <laughs> some closed eyes. That seems to be the trend with unicorn paraphernalia. And some eyelashes. Not too many. She doesn't wear falsies. She doesn't need to. Um, I'm now using sheer pink and just doing some blush and just dispersing it or like blending it out, fading it out a bit so it's not a harsh line. Got to have some blusher. It shows up better off camera. Remember the first time you used blush? <gasps> How had you gone your whole life up to that day without blusher? Mm. Uh, so we just gave her some nostrils so she can breathe. And now I'm adding some stars, because stars make everything better. I was just using some of the sheer pink to just sort of stick them down and then cure them in place. I'd probably recommend using a clear 
um, but sheer pink was to hand. So I cured that and, oh yes, added some glitter in her ears because if horse's ear fluff, if it's a unicorn, you know that's going to be some sparkly ear fluff. Um, and then topping, making sure the stars are sealed in nicely. And that's it. There she is in all her messy hair, don't care, sparkly glory. Um, I hope you liked the video. Sorry I've spoken like a million miles an hour. I edited it so much that I haven't had time to talk slowly through anything. Um, any questions, drop a comment. Love to hear from you. Subscribe for more and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.